good morning. I'm um, holding a knife here that I just completed for a, a Christmas order, and before I got it all shipped off, I wanted to address real quickly the sheath function of one of your knives when you get a hunting knife from Anderson Forge that fits in a pouch style sheath. Um, back around 2000 or so and I really started sending some knives out. Matter of fact, I think it was 98 or 99 I got the book by Bob Loveless and another fellow whose name I can't recall right now, but it was um, How to Make Knives. And in it he had a whole chapter on a knife sheath. Bob was known for his drop point hunters and he made many. And he made a comment about knife sheets and I'll never forget what he said. He also did an accompanying video and when you look at that book all of the stills photographs in the book are from frames taken out of the movie. But he says a knife that is loose in its sheath is a dull knife. Which if you think about it really makes sense because that knife's flopping around in there and it's literally wearing its edge away or rubbing up against the leather. So I took that to heart and I used his method of sheath building and that's what I use when I'm making my sheaths. Um, I'm going to try to do this without really any editing so just bear with me I'm just fumbling through this. The um, <clears throat> say this that knife won't come out of that sheath. It is, as you look at this sheath there's these two pieces of leather and there's a third piece of leather here in the center it's called the welt that does a couple things. It adds rigidity to the, gives the, helps give the sheath its form as well. The stitching that's going through the sheath goes through that welt. The cutting edge of the, of the knife is riding up against that welt and that protects the stitching from getting cut by the cutting edge of the knife. It's, and it serves in the Bob Loveless style of knife making, serves another function. This should give you an idea of how that knife rides in that sheath. Well, see the point of this guard. On the inside edge of that welt, there's a little void, there's a pocket where this point of the guard goes over a high spot it goes over a little high spot and then boom falls in to a hole to a little pocket you can actually hear this go in now I hope the camera picks this up but listen and you'll hear that knife pop into place there it just fell into place and it won't come out this sheet the knife will not come out of this sheet and by the way this little hole right here is in case you fall out of your horse if you fall off your horse in the middle of the stream when you get out, the water will drain out, of course. Now, what a, a mistake that can be made, it can almost be dangerous too. Imagine a sheath being dangerous, but a lot of people will take a knife, one of mine, the first thing you do is just grab right around the sheath and go to pull the knife out. You can't get, as, as long as you're squeezing on that sheath, you can't get the knife out because what you're doing is forcing that point deeper into that hole and it won't come out. So you simply just grab the sheath by the welt, by the stitching, pulls right out. Pulls right out. Grab like this and it won't come out. When it's on your belt, it'll pull right out. So that's the function of an Anderson Forge hunting style sheath based on Bob Loveless method of building knife sheaths. Thanks. And Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hope you have a good 2017.